You ever imagine what dogs are saying when they bark at each other? I do. Well, I don't spend a whole lot of time on it, but I have thought about it. Don't get me wrong, I do imagine some normal, semi-serious stuff too. Like the other day, one of my professors was talking about the data and how much of our personal info is out there. What we like, what we buy, where we go, what we do. About half the class was like, lock it down, it's mine. The other half was, uh, I don't care, let it go. Me? I just kind of zoned out and started imagining, like I do. First, I imagine living in a world where no info about us is allowed. You can't get it, you can't keep it, you can't share it. Picture getting hit full on with ads for all kinds of stuff because no one knows what you really do like. Or having suggestions for your music playlist come up a total blank because no one can see what you already listened to. Or even having to tell your whole life story every time you go to the doctor. It's like one of those weird sci-fi movies on late night TV where the world is full of zombie clones. Then I imagine there's this whole other world where everybody knows everything about everybody else. A data free for all, if you will. Your every move is tracked and recorded by someone and shared with anyone else who wants it. I mean, do you really want everyone to know you have a thing for pistachio and squid ice cream? That your latest search on the web was for adult-sized superhero underwear? Okay, ew. Or that you're looking for a job at Mongo Burger when you work at Super Burger? It'd be like a giant keyhole with who knows who looking through. At you. <laughs> Some things just need to be private. Does either of these sound like the kind of world you'd want to live in? <laughs> Me neither. So I imagine a third kind of world. In between, balanced. Where data makes life easier and better, but keeps the private stuff, well, private. In this world, only responsible types can get and use info. And then only in ways that make sense. Ways that you have some control over. What do you get out of it? When you see ads, more of them are for things you're actually interested in. The suggestions you get are for things you really might like, and you just get a more personalized world all the way around. So that's it. What do you think? I was going to ask my professor and everybody else, but when I looked around, they were all gone. And I was late for my next class. Maybe I got a little too wrapped up in it. Anyway, I don't know how much you've actually thought about data or care, but now you have some brain food. Me? I like the idea of a world with balance. I wouldn't want to imagine it any other way. Okay, now back to those dogs.